Have you ever wondered what a placebo is and how it works? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. Placebos are interesting elements in the world of medicine. They are substances or activities that resemble actual therapy but have no direct effect on the body. Quite the paradox, isn't it? But here's where it gets even more intriguing. These seemingly inactive elements can induce changes in a patient's condition, a phenomenon known as the placebo effect. This effect is particularly useful when testing new pharmaceuticals and health therapies. It acts as a control, allowing researchers to distinguish between the actual therapeutic effects of a drug and the psychological effects of receiving treatment. But did you know, the placebo effect is not a one-size-fits-all phenomenon. It can fluctuate dramatically depending on cultural backgrounds and individual perceptions. For instance, our expectations, beliefs, and the medical rituals we participate in can influence our experience of a condition and its treatment. So, we see that placebos, while not directly therapeutic, play a significant role in medical trials. But where did placebos come from and how have they evolved over time? The term placebo traces its roots back to the late 18th century. But it's not just the term that has aged. The placebo effect itself has grown stronger over time. This is the intriguing phenomenon where patients improve merely because they believe they're receiving treatment, even when they're not. How does this work? Well, placebos are the chameleons of the medical world. They help explain why some treatments appear to work despite lacking any bioactive mechanisms. It's all about perception and the power of belief. But the placebo's darker cousin, the nocebo effect, demonstrates how this power can swing both ways. Here, individuals may experience discomfort from a treatment, not due to the treatment itself, but because they expect negative effects. Thus, from the 18th century to now, placebos have become a fascinating aspect of medical research. But what happens when patients know they're receiving a placebo, and is it ethical to administer them? Recent research has thrown light on this intriguing question, suggesting that the placebo effect can indeed occur, even when patients are fully aware they're receiving a treatment devoid of any active ingredients. This fascinating phenomenon underscores the immense power of the mind over the body and the significant role our perceptions play in our health and well-being. But this brings us to a rather complex ethical dilemma. Is it morally acceptable to administer placebos? The medical community grapples with this question as it involves balancing the potential benefits of the placebo effect against the principles of informed consent and patient autonomy. Regulations around the use of placebos are still evolving as we continue to understand their potential and implications better. Placebos, despite their lack of active ingredients, have demonstrated small but significant effects in the world of medicine. They serve as a testament to the power of perception and the mind's influence over the body's healing process. So, even when we know we're taking a placebo, our bodies can respond positively, showing the power of perception in the healing process.